Hello everyone, I'm Ravamowicz, and today I am going to be trying a uh, drill curls type pigtail hairstyle. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck it's called. You've seen the picture and on, on, on the thumbnail. That's what I'm trying to make. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is do a procedural hair group. I'm going to do one side before I do the other side, but nope. Um, bring the conformity down. Let's see. I'm going to try to figure out where I want. Um, I want the intervals together. I'm going to have it slightly behind the ear, about here, I think. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to need these to be pretty similar since this is in between the two. Alright. Yeah, something like that. Uh, flow, I want this to go as close together as possible. Yeah, so something similar to that. That'll do. Alright, and now I need a... I want a freehand group. Alright, I turned off the mirror. I'm trying to adjust it so this hair is going to end up going swoosh around. Alright, this is where we're starting. I'm gonna get that curl in. I need to pull this in as tightly as possible. For this one, I'm going to uh, convert it to a brush layer <clears throat> so I can adjust these points. So I want to kind of make them or blend them into this because they're all going to kind of be similar. Uh, also, this will look a lot better <coughs> with custom um, hair textures, so keep that in mind. All right, <clears throat> we've got part of a curl. <laughs> uh, and now we're gonna do uh, another freehand group. I'm gonna try to like swoop it in and around and it's gonna be a bit of a bit of a challenge. So I'm trying to get this to here and I'm trying to get these points far enough out to where it'll almost be uh flat. <clears throat> yeah, and I'll have to like adjust things as we go along. And now we're gonna clone this, which is this top one. And hopefully we can just kind of like pull it down to reattach it to this other one. It's gonna need a, a little adjusting, but you know. And I might even remove one of the hairs so it's not exactly the same. We'll remove this top one. Um, yeah. Then we take this other one. Um, yeah, like that. And we're gonna uh, adjust it. I want it to thin out uh, just a little bit. I'm going to actually do that with this one too. Just shrink it down a little bit. So I want it to kind of slowly start to taper down. Also this one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull this down just a little bit and readjust this up here. Like so. It 
swoop. If we want, we can add, let's see, add freehand group. I'm gonna do one stroke over here. All right, you can't see it yet, but we're gonna we're gonna fix that. We're gonna pull this out. And we're going to make it really thin. And I'm going to adjust the points because I want this part to go up. And this is just supposed to be kind of like a stray hair that you can see, you know? And just kind of give it like that little hair that's kind of like shooting out. And actually down here I'm going to get another little hair that's just shooting out. Hold a nice tiny little hair, just like bloop. Yep. Uh, and those little hairs you can do wherever you want. Also, I need to fix this a little bit. Beautiful. Just like that. So now we have like this little uh, corkscrew style hair. And you can adjust it. I think I might do some fine adjustments. Let's try a texture on here. All right, this is gonna need a little <clears throat> adjusting of the mashes. that a little bit. And now in order to do the other side, we're going to do a clone and flip. Clone and flip. Make a part of this one, I guess. Just so they're not completely the same. Like that. Um, and normally you would change this. I don't like that. I, like I would, I would make my own, but I'm not going to for this. This is just for this. And now for doing the uh, bone group, I'm basically gonna grab this entire first chunk. Okay, bone group. And we want the fixed point up to here. And maybe we'll add a couple of bones. I don't know. That's fine. And we're gonna grab all these other ones. Okay, bone group. Fixed point. Up to there. This needs to be touched up just a little bit. pretty much it. And this is how you would do these type of hairstyles. 
Um, you can add more hair strands here and here if you really want to. Like we could uh, add a freehand group here and just take this out a little bit. Give it like a really thin little hair so it's like kind of a little messy. So it just kind of adds a little something something. And then we'll just add those into the bone groups. I want uh, let's see, can I just let's see add hair to bone group? And for this one, we'll do add hair to bone group. And this is pretty much how I would do this hair. Um So if you have any questions, I'll try to help you out. This is a bit more of an advanced hairstyle. Um, also, uh, if you're interested in this hairstyle, I do have it for sale over my booth. You can click the link below. And I will see you in the next video I make. Bye!